in a volcanic eruption. Lava, volcanic bombs, ash, and various gases are expelled from a volcanic vent and fissure. While many eruptions only pose dangers to the immediate surrounding area, Earth's largest eruptions can have a major regional or even global impact. They can destroy whole cities, kill thousands, and even alter the climate and contribute to mass extinctions. Our Earth has been reshaped many times by volcanoes. They can produce rivers of molten lava, crushing mud flows, suffocating ash, and toxic gases that wreak havoc across the globe for years. Today, let's look at a list of 10 of the most incredible volcanic eruptions ever caught on camera. But before we get into that, don't forget to like and subscribe. Number 10. Mexico's Popocatapetl Volcano One of the world's most active volcanoes, Mexico's Popocatapetl Volcano, came to life, spewing ash, gas, and steam. Popocatapetl spewed a two-mile-high cloud of ash over Mexico City over several days of eruptions. Volcanic dust coated cars in Mexico City, and thicker accumulations coated crops, homes, and sidewalks in towns closer to the volcano. It has been years since the center of the nation's capital has seen a noticeable ashfall because prevailing winds usually blow the volcanic dust in other directions. Ash fell earlier this week in some neighborhoods on Mexico City's south and east sides. Al Jazeera reported that international airlines have canceled flights in and out of Mexico City, stranding hundreds of people at the airport. This is not the first time the 5,455-meter Popocatapetl had been active that year. In June, the warning level for the volcano was also raised to yellow after an explosion generated an ash plume that rose over a mile above the crater. Number 9. Mount Shindake, Japan A volcano erupted on an island in Japan in 2015, spewing black clouds of ash up to 5.6 miles into the sky and forcing the evacuation of all inhabitants. One person was reported to have suffered minor facial burns from falling debris as Mount Shindake erupted. Most of the 137 residents of Kuchino Erabu were evacuated by boat. One spoke of how the sky turned dark as the volcano erupted. Flows of rock and superheated gas traveled down the mountain and into the sea, turning the main harbor gray and the seawater murky. Shindake erupted last year for the first time since 1980, when a 14-year period of activity ended. Several people died in a 1933 eruption. Quote, there was a really loud dong kind of a sound, and then black smoke rose, darkening the sky. Nobuaki Hayashi, a community leader, told the national broadcaster, further adding that it smelled of sulfur. The eruption was big news, and Prime Minister Shinzo Abe appeared on television to pledge that he had mobilized all functions of government to ensure the islander's safety. Volcano experts have warned that more eruptions on a similar scale could follow. Japan sits at the junction of several tectonic plates and is one of the world's most seismically active countries. Some have linked a surge in recent volcanic activity to the devastating earthquake that struck on March 11, 2011, triggering a massive tsunami. Number 8. Japan's Mount Ontake The volcano, about 125 miles west of Tokyo, erupted without warning in 2014, spewing ash and rocks everywhere. About 250 people were trapped on the slopes of the popular beauty spot, but most got down safely. Japan is one of the world's most seismically active nations, but there has been no fatalities from volcanic eruptions since 1991, when 43 people died at Mount Unzen in the southwest. The bodies of 31 hikers have been found near the top of Japan's Mount Ontake a day after a sudden volcanic eruption. Some 230 had managed to descend, while some 40 were yet to be rescued. Prime Minister Shinzo Abe authorized army units to help those trapped. Officials warned residents within a 4-kilometer radius of the risk of debris. Mount Ontake last erupted in 2007. Quote, it was like thunder. A woman who runs a lodge near the summit told Japanese broadcaster NHK. Number 7. Kuchino Arabu Island, Japan. 
Another volcano in southwestern Japan erupted in January 2020, but there were no immediate reports of injuries. Rocks were thrown about 300 meters from the crater of Mount Shintake on Kuchinarabu Island in the Kagoshima Prefecture. Following the eruption around 3.05 p.m., the agency said, adding it had not confirmed any pyroclastic flow. No evacuation order was issued. As of the end of last month, 100 people were registered as residents on the island, which is about 14 square miles in size. It was the first eruption on the island since February 2nd of last year. The agency maintained the alert level for the volcano at 3 on a scale of 5, which asks climbers to refrain from scaling the mountain. The alert level was raised from 2 in October following a major earthquake. The agency warned of possible flying rocks and pyroclastic flows within about a 2 kilometer radius of the crater. In May 2015, all residents of the island were evacuated to Yakushima Island, some 12 kilometers to the east, after explosive eruptions. Kuchinorabu Island is known for its volcanic eruptions, which have endangered the lives of many people. Number 6. Torrealba, Costa Rica Costa Rica is an amazing country that draws not only year-round tourists, but also scientists. Archaeologists, geologists, and volcanologists travel to Costa Rica from all over the world to study the beautiful, natural landscape. One of the reasons that volcanologists are so drawn to Costa Rica is because the country's bountiful national parks and reserves are home to more than 60 volcanoes. Starting in 2014, Torrealba has been an active area, so active that the area has been closed to tourists. Torrealba has been restless for a few years now, and occasionally, the low-level ash emissions are punctuated by bigger blasts. But the activity in 2016 had been some of the most vigorous the volcano had seen since it woke up in 2010. The ash plume on September 19th through the 20th from the volcano reached 4 kilometers upward. The eruption on September 22nd may have only produced a 2-kilometer plume, but ash emissions were constant for over 4 hours. Number 5. The White Island, New Zealand The volcanic island White Island in New Zealand explosively erupted on December 9, 2019. There were 47 people on the island at the time. 21 people were killed, including two who are missing and declared dead, and a further 26 people suffered injuries, many of whom suffered severe burns. The ongoing seismic and volcanic activity in the area, as well as heavy rainfall, low visibility, and toxic gases, hampered recovery efforts over the week following the incident. Experts identified the event as a phreatic eruption, a release of steam and volcanic gases that caused an explosion, launching rock and ash into the air. White Island is an active volcanic island. The volcano has erupted many times in recent history, including several times in the 1980s. A major eruption formed a new crater in 2000, and small eruptions occurred in 2012, 2013, and 2016. Number 4. Volcán de Fuego in Eruption, Guatemala A catastrophic eruption of Guatemala's Volcán de Fuego on June 3, 2018 affected more than 1.7 million people in three central departments, or states. As of August 9th, the death toll stood at 165 people, with 260 still missing. This was Guatemala's most severe volcanic eruption in 45 years. Entire villages were surprised by clouds of ash and deadly lava flows. People said that most of the folks who fled to shelters were children. Fuego is about 27 miles southwest of Guatemala City, the capital. It's an extremely active volcano, and had already erupted that year in February. Guatemala's Fuego is located on the seismically active Pacific Ring of Fire, as is the Kilauea volcano in Hawaii. Number 3. Cotopaxi, Ecuador This is the second highest summit in Ecuador, reaching a height of 5,897 meters. It's one of the world's highest volcanoes. Since 1738, Cotopaxi has erupted more than 50 times, resulting in the creation of numerous valleys formed by lahars around the volcano. The last eruption lasted from August 15th to January 2016. 
Cotopaxi was officially closed by the authorities to climbing until it reopened on October 7, 2017. This was the first time in 70 years that the volcano showed signs of eruption. It started with a constant stream of ashen tremors, and the volcano erupted on August 14th and was one of the biggest of the century. It's Ecuador's most active volcano. Number 2. Tall Volcano, Philippines The eruption of Tall Volcano in Batangas, the Philippines, on January 12, 2020, was a phreatic eruption from its main crater that spewed ashes across the cities of Calabrazon, Metro Manila, and some parts of central Luzon, resulting in the suspension of classes, work schedules, and flights in the area. The area was put on high alert for by January 26 of 2020, the authorities observed an inconsistent but decreasing volcanic activity in Tal, prompting the agency to downgrade its warning to alert level 3. The volcano erupted after 43 years, and it endangered the lives of hundreds and thousands of people around the area. Number 1. Mount St. Helen, 1980 This is perhaps the biggest volcanic eruption caught on camera. On May 18, 1980, an earthquake struck below the north face of Mount St. Helens in Washington State, triggering the largest landslide in recorded history and a major volcanic eruption that scattered ash across a dozen states. The sudden lateral blast, which was heard hundreds of miles away, removed 1,300 feet off the top of the volcano, sending shockwaves and pyroclastic flows across the surrounding landscape, flattening forests, melting snow and ice, and generating massive mud flows. A total of 57 people lost their lives in the disaster. It's one of the biggest volcanic eruptions of the 21st century. That's our list of the top 10 most incredible volcanic eruptions ever caught on camera. Have you ever seen one with your own eyes? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. And as always, thanks for watching.